does a tree grow? Why does the wind blow? When does a flower bloom? How can a rocket shoot to the stars or land up on the moon? It's science and technology, engineering, mathematics. Get smart, keep it simple, let's learn about STEM. Hey friends and happy fall! I wanted to use a pumpkin today to teach us a little bit about anatomy. We're going to look at some very top level parts of a pumpkin to show what anatomy is. Anatomy is what a human or a living thing or a plant or an animal, it's what they're made up of. It's the different parts. Like the anatomy of humans, you've got a head on a neck, on your shoulders, on your torso, on your two legs with your two arms sticking out. You can get way in depth and look at all the organs inside of your body that help you move and work and eat and everything that you do. Or in this case, we're going to look at a pumpkin and all of the parts of the pumpkin that we can easily see and feel with our hands. What I'm going to do is take a cross section of this pumpkin so we can see the very top level parts of a carving pumpkin. Before we cut our cross section, we can very easily see the stem or the peduncle. This is what connects the pumpkin to the vine that it grows on. Pumpkins grow on the ground on a vine. You can also easily see the skin or the epicarp. And now we'll cut into it and look at a few more parts of a carving pumpkin. So I've cut my cross section. I've cut a pretty straight line across the front so we can see what's going on inside. So once you cut inside the pumpkin, you can see this thin dark orange, you can see the skin, you can see where it's lighter here, and this is the pulp of the pumpkin, that's called the mesocarp. These fibrous strands are called the endocarp, and throughout those fibrous strands, or that endocarp, you have these white seeds. You can plant these seeds, if you would like, and you can grow your own pumpkin vine. And then next year, when it's fall time, you can have your own carving pumpkin and make your own jack-o'-lanterns. Even though we can see all of these major parts with our naked eyes, you can look and you can notice that the closer you get to it, there's some different shapes and structures within this pulp, you could get down on the cellular level and learn even more in depth about the anatomy of a pumpkin. So just these top level parts is not all that makes up a pumpkin, but you can, you can dive a little deeper and learn a little bit more about the different parts of a pumpkin, or you can keep it really simple and keep it to what you can see or feel with your bare hands. A lot of people think that these are the pumpkins that you use to make your pumpkin puree, but these are carving pumpkins. They're not intended for that purpose. They're not as sweet as pie pumpkins or a certain type of squash that actually is what people make puree with. So it probably wouldn't be as yummy, but I bet roasting up these seeds would be delicious. Make sure you clean off all of that endocarp or these fibrous strands, these gooey strands before you roast them. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit about anatomy and a little bit about the parts of a pumpkin. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some other videos you might like and make sure you subscribe so you can see when new videos are uploaded and we can keep getting smart, keeping it simple and learning about STEM.